Hello, my name is Peter from Clarity. We specialise in doing sound and lighting projection systems for schools and colleges, universities, theatres, etc. Today we're here with Cloud to have a look at the MA40F and the MA40T range of mini amplifiers. Okay, we're going to look at the MA40F first. And to have a look on the front here, obviously we've got the Cloud emblem on the front here, we've got a power LED, a mute LED and a peak LED, which shows us when the amplifier inside is clipping. Uh, we've got a microphone dial here to change the volume for the microphone. Uh, we've got a, vo a volume dial for line one and line two as well. We've also got music EQ adjustment here for low and high frequencies as well. So on the back of the unit, we've got all the inputs and outputs. First of all, we're going to look at this little block here. We've got a 70 volt and 100 volt line input. So if you've got an existing paging system or an emergency address system, we can wire it in. So any paging or any emergency commands can come across the same system. Underneath it, we've also got a paging microphone input as well, with a little volume pot next to it. This does also support 12 volt phantom power via an internal jumper as well. The next block we're going to talk about is the settings block for the dip switches. The first dip switch changes between mic and paging mode. The second dip switch will change the priority of the microphone, so it will go over the top of the line level inputs. Switch 3 changes the priority of the mic between either a switch contact here for your paging microphone or Vox. Switch 4 will change line 1 so it has priority over line 2. And switch 5 will change the box between local or remote control. Next we have the line inputs here. We've got two line inputs, line 1 and line 2. They both have minus 10 to plus 10 dB of gain control here on the back. And we drive on the Euroblock connectors in here. Next we have the facility port which is on the RJ45 here where we can connect either the LM2, the BT1, an RL1 or an RSL6. Next one is a music mute input on here. We can connect it to an isolated relay, either normally open or normally closed, switchboard the jumper inside the unit, and that will mute any music going through the system, but leave the microphone input still active. The speaker output comes next, which on this model is 40 watts at four ohms. We also have the 100 volt line version, which is the MA40T, which has 25 volt, 70 volt, and 100 volt line out instead. And lastly, we have the power input on here, which for the MA40F version is between 12 and 24 volts at 60 watt. Although bear in mind, if you do want the full 40 watts at 4 ohms, you do have to use a 24 volt power supply supplied with it. However, with the MA40T version, you have to use the 24 volt power supply. Both these amplifiers are incredibly energy efficient, but you can make them even more so by changing a jumper on the inside of the unit, which will put it into an automatic standby mode. So after 15 minutes of not receiving a signal, it goes into standby. The power light on the front goes from green to red and it draws less than one watt of power. We also have another couple of jumpers inside this unit as well. One of which will enable or disable a 65 kilohertz high pass filter and the other one enables or disables the EQ card slot inside. Both amplifiers are also convection cooled so they run silently. So in summary, the MA40F is a mini mixer amplifier with 40 watts of power at 4 ohms, and the MA40T is a 40 watt 100 volt line mixer amplifier. If you'd like to find out more about this product, please go on to www.clarityslv.com and use the contact link to ask us for some more information.